Good morning. Today we are going to Sokongu and we are just here at the church. Um, we're putting in some diesel. There's not fuel in this town, so we have to carry it in cans and then uh, we're going to refuel. You can see uh, my a very sexy fuel assistant right there. And there's the 20 liters that we're going to put in. So we are on our way to Sokongo. And uh, oh, there's the pastor's house. We're going to pick him up right now and we're going to preach the gospel of God's grace. We've arrived safely in Sokongo and there is, uh, look at parked under that beautiful tree there, and there's. Uh, Pastor Miyunda just speaking to some of the people. We're a bit early. Drove a bit faster. There was no water on the road and I started to know the road. So I think we've spent about one hour, 45 minutes driving the 60 kilometers. So uh, we've got about 30 minutes down on the normal time. that Jesus Christ is the end of the law. So what we do many times, we don't understand that God is the one that's come to give us life and that His Spirit will bring forth life in us. And what we think we need to do is that we need to live a good life so that we can go to heaven. The gospel of Jesus is the message that the rulership of Christ has now come to the earth. It's the message that God loves you. <laughs> that He knows you are weak. That He knows you need help. And that He knows you are enslaved to sin and death. And, and that He has brought a new ruler to the earth. Which is Jesus Christ. Christ. He will then rule over sin and death in you. And he, by his rulership, will manifest his life in you. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Amen. Okay, so. The gospel is not the message of condemnation. Amen. 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 I'm just going to stop the message until we finish this because I see the concentration is not on me. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Every word I speak is valuable. You cannot miss one word. Amen. 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 Right. So the gospel of Jesus Christ is the message of the kingdom of God that has now come to earth. Where we are not enslaved to sin and death anymore. Where God brings heaven to earth. Where he pours out his love in you. Where he makes you new. Amen. Amen. It is like a village. That is a lot of people. But there is no hospital. And there's no school. 
And then one day, the government decided to put a hospital there. And to put a school there. And then there will be good news. The good news would be that the rule of the government is ruling now in that village in bringing a school and bringing a clinic. People will be happy. They will say the kingdom of Zambia has now come to our village. They are going to rule over the sickness here. They are going to rule over illiteracy. How will they rule? The government will use their money. They will use their power. And they will put a school. And they will put a clinic. And they will deliver the people from their struggles. And it will be good news. Now when we go to uh, Mark chapter 1. I want to read it to you. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. After John was put in prison. You know there was John the Baptist. He was then put in prison. After Jesus was baptized by him. Then Jesus started to preach. And he says the time has come. This is the words of Jesus. The time has come. The kingdom of God has now come near to us. Repent and believe this good news. What is the good news? The rulership of heaven has now come to us. Amen. That which God promised for 4,000 years has now come. Then Jesus under the power of God and the instruction of God he took death on him he, be, he took sin on him he entered into death and then stood up out of the grave and ruled over death and rule over sin. Mm. And then he said, I pour out my Holy Spirit mm -hmm. on all flesh so that my life will rule in them. Amen. 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 It's like when Jesus was born and he died and he was rose, raised from the dead. And his blood washed us. His blood is like the vaccine. When the Holy Spirit is poured out on us. We receive the vaccine from heaven. Amen. 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 And we find that we. We find that we are not fighting the virus of sin. We find the vaccine is fighting the virus of sin. God has come to vaccinate us with His holiness. Amen. You should not be, you know, if you are at home and they find you busy making a vaccine there. Making your own vaccine. You'll go to jail. Amen. 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 But in the church, we want to make our own vaccine. We 
We want to make our own holiness by our own works. The gospel works like this. If God wants you holy, then he must make you holy. God cannot demand holiness. No, God gives holiness. Holiness is a gift. Yes. The Bible does not say you must be holy to go to heaven. No, the true message is that the rulership of heaven will come to earth and make you holy. Do you understand what I'm saying? We never understood that God is coming to earth. We wanted to leave earth and go to heaven. But he's coming here. The Bible says the righteous shall inherit the earth. What is your inheritance? It's the earth. Who is the who is the greatest righteous man you can ever think of? It's Jesus. And what did Jesus inherit? What's part of his inheritance? It is the earth. So where does Jesus rule? In the earth. All authority in heaven and earth was given unto him. Authority over what? Over sin and death. So Jesus is the one that rebukes what is killing you. Amen. 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 We are under the rule of heaven. On earth. Mm -hmm. And you know when you die on earth. Mm -hmm. You find you will be raised again from the dead on earth. Mm -hmm. And Jesus will come back to the earth. And so we live with God. Mm -hmm. The work we are doing here today, the message I'm preaching today, this message and the work doing, we do here today, after Jesus has come back, we'll find that work continue. Because God has not come to abandon the earth. He's come to bring his kingdom to the earth. Amen. Amen. So as what we wait for the government to bring a hospital or a, or a clinic or a school, the world was waiting for the kingdom of God's rule to be on the earth. And 2,000 years ago, that kingdom was brought into the earth. And whosoever believes, they find the rule of heaven in their life. It's like if the if, if there's a hospital coming to a village, if they've built the hospital, if they've built the school, but you don't believe there's a hospital and a school. You'll be sick and uneducated. Why? King. Because you will not make use of what is given for free. If you don't believe that God loves people so much that he brought his rule here. 
How will you make use of it? Chwe mukai tu si sa ona mubuswa muli mchuani. No, you use your own power to try and be holy. Mukatunda na munosi kulimane mube baba lukiri. Making your own vaccine, making your own hospital. Upanga panga tuliani tuami na tulau tuami na tualo ni dipati la zami na. If you make your own vaccine, you become an enemy of the government. Amuka panga tuliani tuami na mina mukalua ni sa mubuso holy teni. If you bring forth your own holiness by your own works, you become an enemy. Very scared of God. I was a very good person. I did everything right. I was good to people. I loved people. I didn't do uh, I didn't do sinful things. But I always felt I was not good enough for God. I was thinking of all those marks that God is never can pass off. I just feel like the felt like the biggest sinner. But as the revelation came, that we can go with boldness. To the throne room of of, of God. It's called the, 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 the throne room of grace. I I started to uh, believe that and it started to show in my life. Before the message, if I did something wrong, I was for, for days I would just struggle. Feeling ashamed. Feeling I can't go back to God's throne room. And I will just try to do some good deeds. That God will love me again. Mm. But now in my life, God, I realize God now knows me in my deepest inner being. Mm. I can't hide anything from him. And I've learned to be honest with God. If I struggle with something, I know he's not keeping that against me. I can go with him. Boldness. And I can say, God, I struggle with anger. I can't help it. I can't get rid of it. Please work in my heart. And release me of that. And you know what? After a while, I just see that God did it. The Holy Spirit worked in me. I just trust God. So if you struggle with something, maybe it's anger, or jealousy, or hatred, or you feel uh, uh, insecure with uh, to other people, whatever, you can go to God. With boldness, with honesty, trusting that he, he will help you. And even if it takes a long time, he will never leave you nor forsake you. He, he cares about you. You know the Bible says that you are the apple of his eye. You are so to him. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Service here, and it was just an awesome, awesome service. Not many people in the church uh, because a lot of them are out harvesting rice. Now, the way it works here is the fields are far from town, so they take, uh, they sh set up a shelter there and they stay in the field and uh, they work. Some of them work the whole day, they come back the afternoon, others just simply not here but we had an awesome awesome service and uh, i think a wonderful sometimes when you preach just an example comes forth that is so great and a lot of these villages don't have hospitals they don't have schools and so forth and people live there and when the kingdom of zambia comes to that village then they'll set up a school and a hospital and the good news of the kingdom that is coming means deliverance and freedom and salvation for them right there from uh, being uneducated illiterate or from the sicknesses and diseases they struggle struggle with because the
the government has now arrived. In the same way, we have got the good news now. Jesus has declared that the kingdom of God is now at hand. Glory to God. His kingdom has come, setting up His rule, His life here right now. And we then experience freedom from sin and death. It was just such an awesome, awesome uh, just message sharing, experiencing the Spirit of God, the Kingdom of God. Well, just a little bit of a video of where we are. Uh, you can see very sandy area here. Every, everything here is this like a carbon filled sand because of years of fire and so forth. Um, yeah, you can see here real thick sand that we drive through. Also just a beautiful, beautiful area. Right, we've arrived safely home at the uh, guest house. So uh, the we preached in Sokongo and then from there we just popped in to quickly visit the uh, see if we could get the people together uh, in the afternoon of the small church where we which we planted but we didn't manage to get a hold of the pastor to arrange that but we still drove in and see if we could get some people together which we didn't manage to do um, but we are back we've had a wonderful service we've enjoyed it thank you so much for traveling with me and then also I've preached a, a message on the grace of God what it is and I've explained that it is the power of God which is on YouTube so uh, I'll also add the link in uh, in the description there or just just the following uh, post will be on uh, that message or just a link to that message thank you for traveling with us see you again tomorrow God bless